Once historian and journalist Michael received a letter by email from an unknown addressee with an interesting story about a hospital that worked in the post-war period. Information about it is still carefully hidden and is classified as top secret. In order to check the interesting material, Michael is sent to the coordinates indicated in the letter in order to personally verify and make a sensational report. Ooh. Excuse me. Anyways, welcome aboard guys, Ziggy here. This is full gamma, but you do have a lighter. So let's check this out. Now at first you think that it's Paradise Lost because of how slow you're walking, but it's not. It's beside myself. I'm beside myself. Now the first thing I think of when a game is this slow is that it's going to be short and that's how they're going to get around the shortness of the game is by making you walk slow. So you went back there, you checked, said you need a switch. And there's your switch. Suitcases up on the crate there. Notice that. So I have my lighter on. Also, it'd be pitch black. And now you can see some arcing and sparking. Unfortunately, I have to go all the way to this end. So graphically, it's meh. You can, you can tell by the feel that it's not really optimized. Just get down here, look at the panel, and then head back. Now, you weren't open, able to open the suitcase when we first went by. You can now. So then you come down and that suitcase that was on the crate is gone. It's on the floor here. So you grab the other fuse. Head back. And the brick just fell and there's your third fuse. So there's a lot of backtracking too. And I find that they do that in shorter games. Really this being a demo, they really want to show it off. You don't want to show the people that are going to be walking back and forth down a hall forever. And at a speed like this, I mean, it's not, it's not giving me a good, a good feeling. You want to show off some of the real great stuff of the game. And if this is it, you know, I'm already feeling claustrophobic. Now, I could not have picked up that cable until I put the three fuses in. So everything you did, you had to do the back and forth. Which, you know, I understand. Now this should be open, which it is. You end up in another room. Notice there's nothing in this corner, nothing in this corner. There's a little switch. Doesn't do anything. Okay, that does not open. There's a note. The appearance of a cross means a place that carries a, my a mystery in which it needs to be photographed. So there's some lighter fluid, although I don't think you really run out in the demo. We got uh, another kind of fuse. That one doesn't open, no. Now some of the things in order to trigger the event, you have to go right to the other end. Still locked. So now you see there's a table here and a shower over there. So got a picture, a letter. I ordered that all who were subjected to violence by the enemy soldiers to be brought to the hospital for in, inpatient psychiatric compulsory treatment, uh, conduct chemical trials of the new generation psychotropic drug on at least a thousand patients of different sex, age, and levels of mental disorder. I ask you to complete the test before the end of 1998. Well, fuck, we missed that. 
So you can see the stuff we picked up. Lighter fluid. Here's a journal. You hit it. There's no. It says no notes yet. And then we got this. A couple pictures. Drug being treated. That's it. That was tab. So you had to walk to here to hear that sound. Now we can get the film. The shower goes on. Let's turn that off. I think you have to try and hit some of these. Right there. You get a key now. Now this is a cutscene. I can't do anything. Here's that fuse that we got. So we are in an elevator shaft. And you gotta close this box to get out of here. Get stuck. Okay, so now we have a camera. There's a cross. So you're supposed to take pictures of the cross. Hit C. You really got to shake it. Okay, lighter. Just go back into the elevator shaft. Ah, uh, huff in some gas. Oh, yeah. So even though we're on the ground of the elevator, <coughs> it, we're on a different floor now. Boy, this is not very bright. Yeah, gamma's full. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, that looks better. So see where there's an elevator there. So you just have to walk the perimeter. Help me. Help me. She needs a lot of help. Now there's a new door. Some drugs it says something about when your heartbeat's going up. So they're not used in the demo. So when in doubt, just circle the perimeter. You have to trigger certain events. Just a little cryptic like that. Take a picture of it, and it shows you really. Gotta, it shows you the picture that you're supposed to put up there. So go find that picture. Just put it up there. So 
It was this picture, wasn't it? No, it was this one. And there's only one picture left, so it's pretty easy. Oh no, there's two. So, so I mean, you, you gotta really circle the, circle up the wagons. And for some reason now it'll work. I don't know why. So there's a cross at the end of the hall. Help me! So you got no film left. So there's some film. And the other thing is that you have to load it up. There we go. It just shows you further down the hall. And there was a dude there, <laughs> blurry face. Right now there's no cross there, so you have to come down here like so. And I don't really like that. I mean, I've been going too slow and I'm backtracking a lot. There's that picture that we first found. Let's get the stuff out of here. Maybe that's what I have to do. And there's an escape route. Pretty sure I just had to look at that picture, but you might have had to walk down here first. This one here, get ready. I'm going to turn this down to volume check. And then you're just in this room with four doors. That's it, guys. Thanks for coming along. So I gotta say, it was too short. It was too much backtracking. And he's walking too slow. If you want to show off the game, show us some, you know, you got to have a bigger level or something to make people feel like they're not going to be so claustrophobic in this game. Maybe that's part of the feel. And there was like, what, one dude's name? Freesound.org, you know, doesn't, and then all the, the Kickstarters or whatever. I realized there was one guy, I mean, if he's going to sell it for three bucks or something, touche to him. But I'm not, you know, I'm definitely not jumping for joy about it. I'm not going to be holding my breath waiting for this game. But you know, it's a beginning. Thanks for watching. Ziggy out.